If you were a power outlet in the wall of a large church, what time of the night would you short out and cause a large fire? Find out on this next episode of Restoration Renegades. <laughs> Worth restoration. I think I'm supposed to wear this. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is my journey. Behind the scenes of professional restoration like you've never seen it before. We'll see homes and businesses go from flooded places to new spaces as we follow the best restoration crews in the country and see how they tackle the big, the bad, and the ugly. Now, I never know where I'm gonna be from one day to the next, but one thing's for sure, it'll be anything but ordinary. Wow, holy crow, Whew. a lot of destruction inside there. Now we're standing outside of a church in Greenville, Texas, which looks pretty normal, but inside, it's as ugly as sin. We are here inside a local church, uh, Fellowship Hall, and you can see a, a fire damage right behind me. This was actually uh, caused from an electrical outlet, one single outlet that caused all this fire damage that, that took out the paneling here. Uh, you see the ceiling, look at all the, the smoke, the damage, everything that, that happened there, all caused from one single unit. With fire comes smoke, and so we're talking billows of black soot and all this stuff, and, and when you come in here, trust me, you, it hits you right away. It's like a wall, like, okay, something's on fire, or it was, and, and so you can smell that. Now, all that, all that smoke, it was pilfering all the way through this area here, but here's the deal. Those vents over here to my left with all that blackened area there where that other paneling is, well, those are called return vents, and those return vents were on. The air conditioning central unit was sucking all of that smoke throughout the entire church in high traffic areas, so the atrium, the sanctuary, and the nursery have all been damaged. Now, behind me here, you see a lot of TVs and so forth. Was that something that we transported in here from the other areas? No, these were <laughs> items that were uh, the church, the congregation was gearing up for their annual garage sale. Guess what? All these items, that's, they're declared a total loss. So this was, this was adding insult to injury, really, because this is just a large catastrophe for the church. And you can see just how large a cleaning job this is going to be. The scale of this job for Dalworth Restoration became more and more of a monstrosity the deeper they got into it. The smoke seemed to take no prisoners as it infiltrated the sanctuary, atrium, nursery, and the fellowship hall. Well, I'm sitting here in the atrium in a pew, and you may be asking yourself, why are the pews in the atrium? Well, we had to pull them out of the sanctuary located right over here in order for us to take in our scissor lifts, our scaffolding. I mean, you've got a lot of high walls as well as ceilings that have to be cleaned. And so we have to take things out in order for us to get our equipment in. Now, you may also hear the, the sound in the background, a lot of air going on. That's not the air conditioning unit. Those are our units. Those are actual HEPA filtration units. Now, these HEPA filtration units, they're filters, and it, actually they have charcoal inside that act as a filter themselves, and charcoal is an excellent filter, taking out the smallest of particles in the air, and we're gonna leave those systems on until this air is 100% clean. Here we are in the sanctuary now, and it looks more like a racetrack with all these cones that are in place, and those are actually just safety precautionary cones. They are actually covering a small bolt that are in the floors, and those bolts are what secures the pews that are out in the atrium in place. Now, you also see our air scrubbers in the background. Those are the ones with the air uh, filtration systems in there, the charcoal that are taking all the tiny particles out. The real scrubbing begins when we bring our crew in here with our scaffolding, our scissor lifts, and look at these tall ceilings that you see up here. I mean, how do you get to those? Well, you gotta bring in that equipment in order to do that, as well as the walls. We've got to go through every nook and cranny because when that smoke came in here and a small, thin layer of soot and ash is everywhere. Even the smallest, minutest areas that you can think of. I mean, imagine the pipe organ that you see in the background. All those pipes are going to have that thin layer of ash on them. Those have to be cleaned so that we can restore it like new once again. Clean smoke from any surface can be a challenge. Well, try be cleaning a wooden ceiling that happens to be, oh, 50 feet high. <laughs> well, we are back in the sanctuary again, and as you can tell behind me, things have definitely changed. Now, one of those changes, it looked like we've actually taken up the carpet. We haven't. We've actually covered the carpet with a thin layer 
of cardboard as well as some OSB on top of that. And that is acting as a foundation for the big giant 35 foot structure you see behind me of scaffolding. Now that's, that's got our guys on top cleaning, doing what they do best, and they're gonna be doing that throughout this entire sanctuary and also in other areas of the church. You also notice a yellow tubing here, this giant yellow tubing that's acting as climate control. Now these guys over here to my left are extending that scaffolding out so they can get to these other areas, all access areas of this place. Gonna return this place back to immaculate. Now, once we're done in here, we're gonna tear it down, reassemble it in the fellowship hall, and start all over again. We are outside. Now, where are we? We're in Texas, and it's always hot in Texas. In fact, 100 degrees even in winter. So you need what I call an environmental control unit. And that's what I wanted to show you right behind me here, an awesome unit to keep things kosher. Now, we're inside the church, and inside the church, we've got our guys working. They're on scaffolding. They're up high, and of course, heat rises. Not good. Gets hot if you don't have one of these guys. Now, why wouldn't you need one of these? Well, you can't use the existing unit. Why? Because it's got smoke and soot inside of it, and you turn that on, hello, not good. So, we bring one of our environmental control systems in. We pump cool, dry air inside. Now, why does it have to be cool and dry? Well, cool because the guys are hot, and dry because if you have humidity in the air, it begins deterioration of the facility, and we don't want that. And for such a large facility, you need a pretty big unit. Wow, what a miraculous change, right? I mean, remember the scaffolding that was behind me last time I was in here? It's gone. I mean, and the reason it's gone is because they cleaned every nook and cranny of this church. I mean, we're talking about the roof, the ceiling, uh, the carpet. Man, it smells heavenly. I'm telling you, it does. It smells absolutely clean in here. It's back to new. We've restored everything. And of course, we had to because we have services every weekend in here. So this thing was a priority. Now we're starting this all over again in the fellowship hall next door. Let's go check it out. The damaged wooden ceiling presented tons of additional problems on its own. When cleaning alone didn't work, the crew tried ice blasting the surface to remove the caked on soot. I don't want to have half it look like this. One guy does it like this. One guy does it like that. And then I'm trying to sand it all down and match it just to the work. All right, so we're here with Cody in the Fellowship Hall. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. What we're doing is, is that we are trying to use dry ice blasting to remove the soot off of the ceiling and get into the cracks and remove the aging. So that way, when we put the new boards in the area that was burnt, we can make it all even, stain it, so that way it looks to like it's pre-lost condition. But right now, the tiger striping is on the boards where it was dry ice blasted, so it's not coming out even. So we're going to have to come up with a different way of accomplishing what we're going to do. When ice blasting didn't render the desired result, the crew ended up sanding and refinishing the entire ceiling of the Fellowship Hall, replacing the ceiling directly over the source of the fire, and matching the wood to the original quality ceiling. Now, when I think of a church, this is what I think of when I think of a church. I mean, it looks and smells much better, like a church should, and you got kids' displays and castles and old-timey things in the background. That's what I'm talking about. This is, finally, a church again, totally restored. Now, from the beginning, who was here? Well, Mr. Jake Jacobs, who's right over here, he's going to tell us about what he saw with all that fire and smoke. Tell us what you saw, Jake. Well, I received a call about 3.30 in the morning and our fire department and told me that our facility was on fire. Mm -hmm. Upon arrival here, I was able to determine that fortunately, not a lot of fire, but a lot of smoke. And from that, then our insurance adjuster came and he brought Dalworth Restoration with him. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, he did that because they have done an excellent job of bringing our facility back to what it was before. As you can see, the ceiling here, all of this area had to be totally replaced. And to do that, they brought in a large amount of structure to take care of getting the people up to the ceiling, completely redid all of the ceiling and all of the walls. Everything has been totally replaced and made us a very fine facility again. And fortunately, we had now work to help us do that. Amen, no doubt. It looks fantastic, it looks completely restored. 
and they definitely are Restoration Renegades, Dalworth Restoration. Now, if you're looking for a Restoration Renegade in your area, visit RestorationRenegades.com. If I don't see you in your church, your home, or business, I hope to see you on the next episode of Restoration Renegades. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it looks great. Everything is beautiful. We even cleaned the piano too. Dowworth Restoration, you came to my salvation. You cleaned me when I was dirty inside once again. So if you've got smoke or water damage, you don't know how to manage. Call Dowworth Restoration.